All right, hey everybody, it's me, the Invisible Gunslinger number one, and uh, I can't stay away from this game. It's very, very fun, and I'm. It's it's the next morning from when I last recorded Cave Story, and I'm much more awake now. So hopefully the commentary will be quite a bit better. Ah, okay. I've even got my scotch with me today. Ah, so let's get let's make a little bit more progress today, shall we? I think we shall. Where are we now? Oh yeah, Curly, for some reason, had decided to leave me behind. In the dust, if you will. Oh yeah, and we had all the bugs and crap, and my Mo Sizzlack sword of awesomeness. How dare you, belittle King's sword. This is the King's sword. The Royal Mimiga sword. Look at that. Look at that. Hold on, let me turn down just a teeny tiny tad. Okay. Ah, I fell. If only we could get, like, do all the Mimigas turn into weapons? Like, could we have gotten Tokoro's, like, form? Could we have been throwing around giant cubes? By the way, uh, this is actually a really good way of bringing this up. I recently saw a pretty interesting movie. Uh, I went to the library and I was looking for a movie to watch. I don't know, I think I was, like, doing my homework. And, uh, I just wanted to hear something in the background to listen to. Ah, or I was like trying to find a familiar movie, but then I happened upon this oh, pissing hell. I happened upon this one uh, weird-looking movie. It was called Cube, and it's very, very interesting. It's basically I'm just gonna give you the very, very specific plot, uh, and it won't really tell you anything about what actually happens in the movie. But uh, it's basically just about these people that wake up in uh, these giant cube areas, well, giant rooms. And each of the rooms is a different variation of a cube. Like, some are, like, red cubes, other ones are blue cubes, other types are uh, magenta and all that. They're essentially the same room, it's just differently lit, and you have six ways you could go. Uh, you know, all the walls of the cube, all the faces of the cube, and up, down, all that. And each of those ways leads to another cube. The thing is, though, that the cube rooms are extraordinarily dangerous. Well, some of them are. Some of them are just regular rooms, and other ones are, like, horrifying rooms that will, like, either electrocute you or... I think this one guy gets, like, uh, like chopped into bits by, like, evil fans and stuff, or, like, mega traps and stuff. It's very, very weird, and other things are, like, lasers and... Oh, we gotta fight this guy again. I forgot. It's very odd. So I, said, I would suggest looking it up. It's cube... Just cube. Very, very interesting. Very, very plot twisty, by the way. Stuff happens in there that you wouldn't really expect to happen. It's very odd. But anyway, by the way, I didn't notice this yesterday, but I looked at the video just while well, I was checking out the video just to make sure the audio was alright. And uh, I noticed that that big robot thing has a puppy foot thingy on it. So what's up with that? Is this the old lady's robot pet thing? What's up with that? I just got run over. Awesome. Ran over. Whatever. Run over, ran over. Bah. And I'm very excited this afternoon because I got a call the other day. I probably already talked about this in my 700th video. Uh, 700th video special thingy. But I actually uh, got called in t by Target. Or Target called me up. And because I applied there, I think about two weeks ago, and they uh, called me up the other day and basically said like, "Hey, we want to bring you in for an inter an interview," and I was like, "Okay, cool," but I had missed their call, so I had didn't talk to the main lady, and uh, I I got a call from them again today because I told them to call me back, and I was sleeping in unfortunately at the time, or I wasn't sleeping in, I was just flat out sleeping. I got up actually at I think ten today, and they called me at eight, and they said. Uh, you know, could you come in today at 11.45 at night? Which, ordinarily, wouldn't be a problem for me. And it isn't a big problem. It's just that normally, i that's when I'm, like, waking up. But I've gotten on a much better sleep schedule as of late. Just in the fact that I'm, uh... And sorry I'm not talking about the game right now. I just wanted to kind of go off on my own little tangent. Oh, cool. I didn't even notice I killed that thing. The core thingy. But anyway, um... Crap, there was a lot of stuff. Ah. 
Uh oh. Ooh, heart. Haha. Must kill add ons. Ah. No, you can't tank him. He's a tank. You can't tank the tank. Don't stop the rock. Go. Stop the rock. Can't stop the rock. You can't stop. Ah, sorry. Anyway, um. So the lady called me up today and said, uh, you know, could you come in tonight at 11.45 at night? And I basically said, sure, that's fine. But it's kind of ironic because, oh, so, so close. It's kind of ironic because I have been trying to get on a better sleep schedule because the worst that it had gotten was I was, uh, you know, I'm unemployed and I'm not going to school right now. Um... It had gotten to the point where I was falling asleep at 2 in the afternoon, waking up at 10 at night, and then staying up all night. And the position that I applied to at Target is uh, working the graveyard shift, I think restocking the back rooms and the, like, candy sections and all and the food and the games and all that. So I don't know how this interview is going to go. I assume I'm going to be talking to the night manager. But it should be interesting to see how this whole thing goes. And it's going to be very, very good for the YouTube channel if I can actually get this job because that will mean that I am saving up some cash monies. Ah, that I'm saving up some cash monies for my, uh, for YouTube and all the equipment and stuff and I can upgrade my computer better so that I can run really high-end games. Ah, oh, there's, oh wait, I can just talk to this guy. So I can, uh, run higher-end games. Ah, blah, 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 nobody cares. Stupid green doctors, are they robots? I honestly don't know. But anyway, um, yes, it'll be very, very good for my for this channel if I can get a job at Target. I mean, not right away, obviously, because there are other expenses that have to come first, but it'll mean that I have a little bit of disposable income as opposed to none at all right now. So let's cross our fingers, everybody. And just because I've got an interview does not mean at all that I've even been considered for the job. They're probably just calling, calling me in as a formality, but you never know. So it'll be interesting. Very interesting. Okay. God. That's a tight curve. Thankfully, I'm a robot, and we can do that kind of crap. In our sleep, even. Gotcha. Okay. Let's kill this stupid, fat robot guy. Look at him. I, it's got to be the old lady's robot. I mean, it's got the puppy dog symbol thingy on it. Okay, kill the stupid bugs. The bugs are being extraordinarily annoying. Who needs the bugs? Why, do, why does the robot employ bug technology? I know the bugs are called something with like a G or something, but I can't honestly remember what they're called. It's some weirdo kind of almost not really Japanese-y word I can't even remember. Hmm. Concerning, they are somewhat resilient against my missiles. Somewhat. Not very, but somewhat. Come on. Coolio. Okay. We've even got some missiles, surprisingly. Usually I just blow through them. Ah. Weirdo green monster thingy. Is he a robot, or is he more of a monster? I can't tell, because he's like... He's got some kind, some kind of, um... Almost organic parts to him that, that I'm blowing off right now. I'm making him more robot than whatever the hell he's supposed to be. I don't even know. Very interesting. Was he like a digger robot? What purpose could this guy have had? Is he employed by the doctor, or is he just some arbitrary thing that we don't know what the hell he is? What's going on with that? My questions must be answered. And what was up with that ghost uh, version of What's-His-Face? Of Balrog. That was weird, was it not? I, fo I found it very weird. Just because there was absolutely no explanation. Like, what, the nurse said, Oh, watch out, there might be ghosts. And then all of a sudden, here's weirdo ball, ball ghost. Ugh. Did he become more powerful now that Misery, you know, like, did away with him? Am I going to see that ghost again? Is, he a, is it a reoccurring thing? Like Balrog himself? I want to fight Misery. Wow. King, that is awesome. Oh, King. Ah. Yes. King. 
jeez. Very, very somewhat difficult. I think I saw a hundred... 105 damage, very, like, uh, wow, what a badass king, no, you don't fish missile, it looked like a fish, it looked like a fish missile to me, I'm sorry, very fishy, questionable even, oh no, king, my captain, my captain, how dare you, how dare you hit me with your fish rocket thingy, go, 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 and it died. Please don't get by the fish missiles. Oh, the fish missiles. What the hell was that? Monster X. It looked like some kind of weird ferret fell out of that thing. What the heck was that all about? Okay, we seriously need to find a save point. Save point? Door. I'm, a fr I'm frightened of the door. Door. Uh. Question mark. Whee! Some kind of thingy. Interesting. God, I hope I didn't accidentally talk to that old man that I wasn't supposed to talk to. If I see an old man, no way am I going to be talking to him. Uh-oh, fell. I fell. Wait a minute, is that is it that old man? Do I not want to talk to him? I'm not talking to you. Nope. F off. An engineer. Well, you know what? I saved. So, it's, it's this old man again. Ah, you've got me all paranoid now. I'm not going to talk to you. Oh, but I kind of have to, I think. Fine, what is it? Ugh. Oh, what are you doing here? Da, da, da. Really? So Misery sent you here too? Chuckle. Maybe there's a silver lining after all. Her, her, her. You see, this island floats in the sky by the power of a certain organism. And I've recently discovered the location. Its location. This labyrinth. The organism lives somewhere within this very labyrinth. You mean that Monster X thing that I killed? If one could destroy it, the island would cease to function. Chuckle, the doctor must really be in a rush to send you into the very heart of this island. Take this with you. Booster, whatever. This little machine will help you fly. Ooh. Awesome. Uh, the minute I was sent flying, I thought it was all over, and yet she enabled me. So it looks like my luck is... Uh, I pray for your victory. Oh, he died! <gasps> oh, snap! Oh, God. Um. Yes. Why would they even ask me if I wanted to equip it? That's awesome right there. I am go I'm going to assume that wasn't the old man that we needed to, needed to talk to. Because, um... That seems very necessary to me. Uh, now, hold on. I'm going to read the document again. It said, There's a man in the pit after the area... After the desert. After the area... Oh! The area after the... The area after the desert. No. Hold on. There's a man in the pit after the area after the desert. After the area after the desert. Okay, so not this area. Okay, so it meant the next one. Okay, I'm being paranoid for no reason. Because the way that that's worded, it that says... Oh my god. I didn't know. I didn't realize I had missiles on. So hold on. Wasn't there something that I couldn't get to back here? Uh, no, I'm not going to go back that way. Okay, so we don't have to worry about this right now. Just remember, old men in pits, don't talk to them. Boulder chamber. Well, hello, Curly. What are you doing here with Senor Rock? Aha! I was wondering when you'd show up. If we can just get this big rock out of the way, we can get to the exit. Rumor has it, though, that a monster nest lies just beyond. So you better be ready for that. Anyway, let's get this thing out of the way. You hold that side. Okay. Ready? Push. Brrrr, robot strength! Da da da. Robot strength has failed. It hasn't moved one bit. Not one micro... polygon. I'm not even sure the two of us are strong enough. Puzz oh! You know, this is just the kind of thing that I live for. You! Why is, she, why are you so happy to see him? Why are you two? Oh! You're alive, I see. Not only that, but you're trying to get out of the labyrinth. You shouldn't be staying. Put, or shouldn't you be staying like... Uh, let me try that again. 
Shouldn't you be staying put like good little robots? You can't stand up to my master any more than I can, you know. Fine then. I'll just put a stop to this. Hope you don't mind being iron scraps. Just who we were looking for. Take the middle, will you? Derp. What the? Wait a minute. Didn't he just say he was going to, like, kill us? And now he's, like, helping us. Okay, I was going to say, are you even listening to me? He's so pissed off. Okay, that was very... Why would... Oh, Jesus. When did you institute that kind of technology, Balrog? No. Oh, my God, stop. What the hell are you doing? Ball. He's touching me. Stop touching me. Die. Die for your sins of touch- Don't you- How dare you? I feel violated. How dare you do that to me? Balrog. Don't do that to me, Balrog. Balrog! Get away from me. Kill- No. Killing you with King's weapon. There you go. To the head. God damn, Balrog. Stop touching me, you freaky toaster. You win. I'll move the rock for you. But remember, don't tell anyone that I helped you. Your secret's safe with us. As if. I'm gonna go tell everybody. Push. Weirdo. Grrrr. That wasn't really a push. That was more of a throw. Now remember, don't tell a soul that I helped you. We won't. You know, I can't keep that promise. Why are you doing that? I don't think he's really that bad of a guy. Open the treasure chest. Whoa, okay, cool. Now hold on a minute, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Hold on a minute. Hold on, hold on, let me go back for something, because I think I remember something, hold on. You remember back in the clinic where there was that one treasure chest that we couldn't get to? Now that we have this booster thingy, let's go back. I'm probably going to regret this, but I, I saved already, so, you know, if it's nothing, I'll just kill myself and we'll reappear. Unless I die here. Like that, derp. <laughs> anyway, um, so apparently Balrog does not give a crap about the... Okay, Curly's gone. Apparently Balrog does not give a crap about the fact that, uh, you know, we... Um, we kind of, you know, like, saw a ghost of him. 